Hey there everyone, I want to show you how to use a tool called IP Scan, or it's also affectionately called Angry IP. I'm not sure why it's called Angry IP, but here's what it does, it's really cool. It First of all, one of the things I love about it is that it's an executable file, not a program that has to install on your computer. So once you go and get it, it's just a file that you, you keep around and then you launch. What Angry IP does is as soon as you launch it, it detects the network that you're on. Um, so this uh, Sony VAIO laptop that I'm running it on right now uh, is on this 192.168.0.x network. And it's pre-populated the IP range uh, from 0 to 255 um, to do a scan. So when I click start, what it does is it interrogates every available IP address that's listed in this range. Now you can change that range. It doesn't have to be the full 254 host addresses. You could just make it search, you know, like dot .10 through dot .50 or something like that. Um, it does it pretty fast, so having a large range on a Class C network is not a big deal. And then when it finishes, it gives this little message that says it scanned 254 IP addresses and it found five um, hosts that responded. So here's these hosts that are listed in the blue. So 192.168.1, that's, uh, that's my router. Um, if you go down here a little further, you can see that I've got a couple here. One here has got a, actually has got a Windows host name under the host name section. Uh, that's Actually, that's the laptop I'm using right now. Um, Asus T200 is another laptop I have, and it's on the network. Uh, now I've got a couple here that are uh, showing as positive uh, hits, but there's no host name next to them. Um, one of the things you can do if you want to find out more is you can uh, launch your uh, command prompt. And uh, once this IP scan is run, all the available MAC information will be stored in your ARP table. You can see your ARP table by doing ARP minus A. And what that gives you is the IP addresses that you're computer is aware of with the corresponding MAC addresses then you can use these MAC addresses to help figure out what these devices are so I run into this problem sometimes when I'm working on an unfamiliar network where um, I don't know what devices are being used so maybe I'm getting ready to assign an IP address to something even if it's just temporarily and I don't want to cause an IP conflict uh, so I'll run this program ahead of time to see what's being used. And then also if I'm trying to identify something, here's an example where you can get in kind of a sticky situation where, you know, you've got some access points and those don't have screens on them that you can go and, you know, look up what IP address they're set to. Uh, so if you run this uh, program and then you get the IP addresses that uh, you get positive IDs on, if you look at these uh, in the ARP table, if you look at these MAC addresses, uh, the MACs that uh, the MAC addresses are usually labeled as stickers on the access points, um, and you can use that information to do you know kind of a process of elimination. The other thing you can do is the first four uh, letter number um, uh, characters of a MAC address also indicate what the manufacturer of the network device is so that can kind of help you figure out a little bit more about um, about the, uh, the device in question okay so that's angry IP if you want to get that you can get that from angryip.org it's a free program uh, angryip.org okay hope that helps somebody out there with their networking issues thanks for watching